It's 5 a.m. here in Maryland. The sun is just about to come up, and I know there's gonna be a lot of fish here. I'm gonna show you how to feed them. <laughs> okay. Can I just start fishing Yep, now? go. Down sinker, anti fly. Today, my game plan is to catch some stripers to make some prints out of, and maybe a nice dinner. I've got a very special technique to catch these fish, and it involves using my homemade special bait squiddy bits. Lots of perch feeding right now. You see? So I'm going to be using the slabs here. So here's the new starter kit. It comes with the slab and the box, but I put tentacles in here, and uh, this is the slab for the squiddy bits. We're gonna cut it into like a strip, just like this. Right? Then we're gonna cut it into like a triangle shape, like this, kind of like a trailer. Round it off. Just like that. And this makes a perfect trailer. So the rig I'm using is an inline sinker. This is three ounces. That's tied straight to my mainline braid. And it goes into my 20 pound monofilament into a hook. At the end of it is a hook and a piece of our squid bait. And for a little bit of extra added flair, I'm gonna dip it this just like that give it some color does that look good since it's so small it's hard to get down to the bottom the bottom is where the big fish are the top is where all the small fish like to hang out so we're casting it out letting it sink to the bottom and once it touches that bottom you start bringing it back They're busted right there. Oh, missed one. Oh, I'm on one. On something. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh. I think that's a keeper, right away. Oh yeah. That was the first cast. That was first cast, it used to be 19 inches. That's 19. Oh, really? Dang, boy. Okay, let's keep her right off the bat. That was my first fish on the Stella, too. It was my first cast. It felt really nice, very smooth. Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay, so the point of this weight is that you can get it down to the bottom. You want to deliver the squid right in their mouths. Once you get it down there, it's a matter of them seeing it, and they'll hit it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm on another one. Oh yeah. And they just hit it like a ton of bricks. Oh, this is a good one too. Second cast. 
second fish. Oh yeah. Oh. That's another Flying nice one right fish. there. Holy crap. That's a good one. There we go. Look at that bait. See, you just need to barely hook it on like that. 20 inches. That's the second keeper in the back. Cut yourself? Yeah. You have a fishing license, right, Aaron? Yeah. Okay, so we're allowed to keep two. Okay. it way out there and you want to let this sink to the bottom once you feel it touch the bottom you start jigging it back and you just bounce that bottom back so the question is how do you get a small bait down really deep well you got to use a big sinker Probably a small one. Oh my gosh. That was the world's tiniest one. It just got off. Hmm. What you putting on now? I got your plug. Sometimes they're not on the bottom, so we've got to check the top. Got a few keepers in the dark. Yep, that's now the awesome. Sun's coming up. That's why you check your knots. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> This one's a knot on my heavy rod. Oh, your light rod. We've already caught our two keepers in the morning, so we're not allowed to keep anymore after this. So after this, everything is just bonus. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to catch your first two keepers in your first two casts, but uh, it seems to be that's I can't find them anymore. As soon as the light came up, they all started, they just disappeared. But at least I got those first two casts in. That's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm gonna keep trying. Maybe I'll get another one. Where'd they go? I know, right? Ooh, I'm on.
Oh, it got off. Was that a nice one? That was a nice one. Uh, I should have rushed it. I should have just, should have brought it in slowly. That was a nice one. The key for today is casting far and fishing deep. Also, getting here early. That was a really big help. It just seems like they're a lot less weary when the sun's not out. Usually bigger fish come out at night. That's usually. Stripers are also known to be nocturnal feeders. A lot of them prefer to feed at night, I'm pretty sure. So squid is a very universal bait. You can pretty much use squid anywhere in the US, pretty much anywhere in the world and catch fish. I like using squid because it's also very tough. So when we salt it down and, uh, and we use it as baits like this, it, it's even tougher. You can use it the same way you would use like a soft plastic. And this way, you are not, you're not polluting the water. It's completely 100% natural if you do lose your bait. It's not a problem. I'm using stuff like this, which is like natural flies and natural materials like this. Natural materials like this will rust out, and this is like hair. So it's not like you're throwing plastics into the water. Um, this is just one way that I like to, you know, help our help our world have a little less trash. Um, anyways, after you after you throw these uh, the salted baits for a little bit, they start to really take in more water and become like this kind of consistency, like this. You see, versus something like this. It's much. It turns much softer, but still tough but it puffs up. Nice and plump. Nice and plump. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to make it easy for you to learn how to fish. And we do this by filming videos like this and also making a bunch of tutorials on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. Um, I've personally written like dozens of books on how to do all sorts of different kinds of fishing. And if you like the way that we show you guys how to fish, I think you'll really enjoy these books that I've written. It's on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. Our superstar bait of the day, the squiddy bit slabs in our new starter kit right here. This is really awesome kit if you're if you're just getting into fishing or if you're already a well-seasoned pro. This is a really awesome bait that you can just keep using over and over again. All you really need is hooks and squiddy bits and you can catch any fish. Thank you for watching. Remember to pick up trash when you see it and I'll see you next time. Stay tuned guys. I've got some really exciting activities that we're going to do with these keepers. I just got back and before I prepare the fish, I'm actually going to make a Japanese fish print. I'm not going to go too in depth on how I do this, uh, but if you are interested, I previously made a tutorial on exactly how to do these fish prints, all the materials you need, and it's a really nice tutorial that we have on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. But printing these fish is really easy, really fun, great to do with kids, really quick and simple, so let's just get into it. Ooh. There's a fresh catch. So let's print this one. So what we're doing right now is a very traditional Japanese method of preserving your fish. It's called Giyotaku. And I just made a in-depth tutorial of exactly how to do this same method. I also have available this exact print that I'm making. It's all available on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks really cool, huh? Mm. All right, so after I'm done printing, this is the great part about this process is you can still eat it since we're using paint that is non-toxic and water soluble. So we take the pins out. Pick 
it up. Just rinse it off and let's just prepare this to eat now. So now I'll scale the fish, I'll gut it, and I'll prepare it for the meal. You don't need to see me gut it. This dish is called aquapazzi, or as I like to call it, aquapazzazz. Aquapazzi means crazy water in Italian. And basically, with this dish, I've cooked up a bunch of vegetables, and I, I start to boil it, and then I put the fish on top, and I let all the fish juices leak into the sauce. And oh my gosh, this looks really good. We're gonna put this over top of the fish once it's done. Now this sauce will have all of the flavors of the fish, all the flavors of the vegetables, all mixed together. And when you pour it on top of here, oh my gosh, this is a great way to enjoy a fresh catch.